Hi folks. Well, I think there was a song that we sung, I think, in the 1930s. Happy days are here again, all together now, sing it loud and clear. Happy days are here again. Now why is this little guy singing that song? Because of the Republicans. The Republicans in the Congress and in the state houses all across these here United States of America have realized that their interest lies with their constituents and not them, their Democrats or the news media allow. In Arizona, the Republicans passed anti-illegal immigration and they've been now been challenged in the courts by the Obama regime that injected itself into state politics along with the Democrats. But the Republicans are not giving up, they're continuing the fights through the courts. The state of Wisconsin, the constituents there elected a Republican majority, both houses of the legislature and in the governor's office. And they're now wanting to rein in overspending by the state namely by doing away with government sector unions. In other words, government employees, they want to take away the unions from the uh, government employees because they're a main cause of the overspending that's taken place there. If they do not rein this in, they're going to have to fire 5,500 state employees. But the unions and the Democrats and the Obama regime are saying, so go right ahead. But we do not want to lose bargaining rights for the employees of the state of Wisconsin. So you see, you see what's going on here? They want to maintain the bargaining rights even though they're going to lose 5,500 bargaining employees. That's okay because they still will have 300,000 state workers belonging to the union can pay union dues which amounts to approximately $330 million a year, the majority of which goes into the pockets of the union leader thugs and into the Democratic campaign funds. That's where it goes into. That's why Democrats from all over the country, like Nancy Pelosi from San Francisco, has injected herself into it. That's why Jesse Jackson is run in front of the cameras like I do just to get his face, <laughs> his face time. And we have the Obama regime urging people to come into Wisconsin where they're busing in people to inject themselves into Wisconsin state politics. Listen, Repu oh, and the Republicans in Congress, another salute. They have now passed a bill, the, the economic spending, which defunds health care, defunds plan, when I say health care, Obamacare, Planned Parenthood it defunds, it defunds net neutrality, which is an infringement on our rights, uh, net neutrality, and it defunds many of the czars, close to a saving of $60 billion. Now, it has to go to a Democrat-controlled Congress, and even, excuse me, Senate, and even if it passes, the regime leader Obama will veto it. But that's okay. Because we the people who put you Republicans into the state houses, who put you into Congress, this is what we expect. It may not be successful at the end, but you made the attempt, you made the move. You did not acquiesce to Democrats, you did not acquiesce to the biased news media. That's what you did. You stood independent, you stood with your constituents. God bless you, and we'll stand with you come the next election. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you, God bless America, and God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.